Hello, my name is Esteban Serna. I am a senior DynamoDB specialist solution architect, and I help customers to optimize their data models in terms of performance and cost while working with Amazon DynamoDB. In this short video, we're going to discuss something that is usually overlooked while customers design new application access patterns. Uh, you see the de facto solution when customers design a, a, an application access pattern it is to create a global secondary index because global secondary index will allow you to query your data using something different than the partition key and sort key that you have created for the base table. GSIs are great, but in this video, I'm going to show you that sometimes using a scan operation could be more cost effective, even if your table has millions of items uh, in the inside of them. Let's start by by, by, by understanding what happens behind the scenes with both operations and also understanding DynamoDB cost components. So global secondary indexes will allow you to organize your data using a different partition key and sort key than the one that you have selected on the base table. So in this example, we have an orange partition key and sort key from the base table, and we have chosen in green and, and pink the partition key and sort key from the GSI. When you create a global secondary index, you have the possibility to choose what attributes you're going to project. If you want to project only the keys, that means that you project only the, the partition key and sort key from the best table, which is required uh, to, to conserve data consistency and uniqueness. You can choose to project only some attributes. For example, uh, you can choose to, uh, to, to project only attribute three, for example. Or you can choose to project all the data that you have in the base table, which will be considered a copy, a full copy of your table data, just using a different partition key and sort key. And so far, this is great. That means with a GSI, I have unlocked a new way to open new access patterns and retrieve the data in a, using different parameters. However, what customers usually forget about, especially while, while building new application access patterns, is that to maintain a GSI, the data have to be copied from the base table to the GSI. If you have projected all your data, you are choosing to project all the attributes from the base table, you will have a, a, a replica of your table. So the storage will be twice the size. And when you write to the base table, you also need to write into the GSI. So instead of writing once to the table, only once, you will have to write twice, one to the table and to the GSI consuming a little bit more uh, write capacity units. On the other side, the scan operation will allow you to get all the information from your table. When you issue the scan API, DynamoDB will return all the data that is available in your table. Since we might be talking about millions of items, um, you might need to paginate across the results that are returned by the DynamoDB API call. Um, and then you, you, the application will need to condense all of that and, and you make something useful with the data that is returned. You can specify filter conditions instead of if, if you don't want to retrieve all of the items, you can tell DynamoDB to filter the data based on some of the conditions that for example, we have contains, we have if some parameters greater than something, if some parameter exists, there are different possibilities. And at the end of the day, DynamoDB will only return the data that matches the condition that you have specified in there. However, you still pay for the full read. So if your table has 1 million items, you pay for that 1 million items, even if you have filtered all but one. There are ways to increase the speed of the scan operation, and that you can specify a, a worker parameter in the API call. You can divide it by number of segments. So if, for example, you have four segments, that means that your DynamoDB will split the data into four by four different workers, and each worker will retrieve a portion of that data. Since all of that happens in parallel, the, the query, the, the, the scan operation will execute faster. Now you might be thinking, so why, is, why indexes are a good are a bad idea anyways? If a scan, we're talking about millions of items, uh, the, the index will only return some few elements. And to really understand the difference between both of them, let's walk through uh, to an example, a hypothetical situation. So let's imagine that we have one kilobyte of data that is written into DynamoDB. 
we have one million items in our table and we will be writing two elements per second. So every time we will be consuming two write capacity units to write into our base table. Um, and then we also will be reading only once per day using a GSI that we have created. And that query will return around 2000 elements. With those 2000 elements, we'll be consuming around 1500 uh, read capacity units. But what we usually forget is that to maintain that index, we'll have to pay two write capacity units per second. In total, that's 5,256,000 write capacity units for a day. So it's a pretty big number. And that's something very overlooked, usually overlooked. Um, on the other side, this kind of operation will just read everything that you have in there, and then you will filter the information based on what you need. So to understand the difference, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the AWS price calculator. I'm going to create an estimate very quickly. I'm going to keep everything by default. I'm going to select DynamoDB as the service. I'm going to choose on-demand capacity just because the calculations are easier to make. And then I'm going to leave the table standard class, standard class, one gigabyte storage size, one million items per one kilobyte in size is one gigabyte. And then the on-demand write settings are two million per second, and, and sorry, two per second, not two million. And the read settings will be 2000 elements per day, as we saw. As we saw. So if we got all the details, the total of this one will be $6.83 for the best table. Remember what happens with the GSI? Since we're projecting all the attributes, we need to include another 25 cents for the storage on the GSI and another $6.57 for the writes that are happening on the GSI. In total, it will be $13.65 to sustain this application access pattern that we have created. Let's compare with the scan. The scan operation will be the same writes because I'm still writing two times per second in my base table. But on the read side, we have 1 million of, of reads per day because my table has 1 million items. I'm just doing a scan operation once per day. And then 1 million times 30, it's 30 millions per month. If I, do, if I run the numbers, you're seeing that now the price has gone to $10.57. We're including we're paying $3.75 on the reads, but we don't have an index to maintain. So if I put it side to side, in total on the GSI, I will be spending to support this access pattern $13.65. On this scan operation, I will spend $10.57. So here you have it. Customers usually think that scan operations is a bad thing to do. And the scan operation is, is great because it will give you all your data. You can choose what to do with that data. It makes it difficult when you have millions of items, but you can use uh, the, the multi-threading conditions or multi-threading options that DynamoDB offers. So you can split your data and retrieve that very fast. On top of that, you can use filter conditions to only retrieve the information that you care. Remember that behind the scenes, you still have to pay for all the information that was read that means all the data in your Amazon DynamoDB table. So this is what's an invitation to, to remember that you always need to consider data velocity when you are designing your table and your application access patterns in a DynamoDB table. And don't think that scan operations are your enemy. Scan operations are great. Um, you just need to understand when is a good moment to, to, to include them in your application access patterns. My name is Esteban Serna. I am a senior DynamoDB specialist, and thank you for watching. See you next time.